Hi, I'm Hewan Jo, a first grader at Suwanyamu Middle School. Take a look at this painting. I saw this last year at an exhibition at Seoul Museum of Art. It was an exhibition on Australian Aboriginal art, which was co-curated by a contemporary art gallery in Australia. Out of all the artworks, this one really caught my eyes. The size, vibrant colors, and rhythmic patterns were so captivating. I remember the cozy, dreamy feeling I had in front of it. But what really amazed me was the concept of collaborative painting. And that's how I got to know the Iwanja art. Iwanja art is an indigenous owned and governed Aboriginal art center in the Indicana community on the Anangupiran Tachara, Yankun Tachara APY lands. It was founded in the 70s after the land was returned to the traditional owners. Initially, it was for providing temporary accommodations for family groups and meals for community members. But over time, it transformed into a hub for innovative artists and their contemporary art practices. Imagine this. Around 30 artists aged between 18 and 90 were collectively in an open studio. They speak various languages, yeah, they all engage in some type of art. It's like an artistic melting pot. Senior artists become mentors to younger artists, sharing knowledge and learning among generations in the process. Their collaborating works means a lot to them. That's what makes them feel proud of who they are and helps their culture remain strong. Many Aboriginal communities were forced to leave their homes and had their culture suppressed in the past. However, now they are blending traditional art forms with a modern twist to showcase the greatness of their heritage. Artworks from Iwanja Arts are held in many private and public collections throughout Australia and internationally. They utilize art as a bridge connecting not only with one another, but also with the rest of the world. History gives us a window into the past, allowing us to understand the struggles, victories, and cultural transformations of various societies. By studying history, we come to understand the importance of safeguarding traditional heritage as a living, dynamic being. It teaches us that cultures change over time as they adapt to new situations and influences and that preserving traditional heritage means offering a new life. <clears throat> Some people think that traditional heritage should be preserved and never changed, but I believe Conserving our heritage does not imply locking it up in the past like a museum display. It's about giving a fresh life, like giving grandma's recipe a tasty twist. And that is exactly why I feel like the collaborative art practices at Iwanja Arts exemplify how traditional heritage can evolve and remain relevant. We can honor the past while adding some updates to keep it interesting. The way Traditional heritage can be relevant and meaningful to all of us. Thank you.